Good morning, it's Tuesday the 8th of December. Some of you will remember that earlier in the year I shared some new words with you, words that I've learnt, and today I've got another one. I'm following a set of Advent readings from the writer Brian Draper, and the theme of the reflections is light. And Brian has found a word that's been around since 1623, and it's the word apricity. The word is used to describe the warmth of the sun on a chilly winter day, which is why I'm recording my reflection on Monday, when the winter sun is shining, and I could not only speak about apricity, but also experience it. The sun is a joy whenever it shines, but in winter, don't we just delight in those days when we can experience the sun on our backs and the warmth of the sun on our faces? Perhaps the reason we appreciate the winter sun is because often it comes in the midst of gloom and darkness. We may have a series of cloudy, damp days all in a row. So when the sun comes out, it lightens our spirits and gladdens our hearts. On the BBC Radio 4 programme today, they've been inviting listeners to share their moment of light. Some have been famous, some haven't. So here were three of their moments of light, something that brings them comfort and joy in these difficult times. 92-year-old June describes how she pours herself a gin and tonic each night at 5.30pm. She says, then I light a candle I sit and sip and watch the flame, and I count my blessings, family, friends, health. The chef Nigel Slater, in another moment of light, says he looks forward to winter, not just for the frosts and the chance to light a fire, but for the time each day when he stops what he's doing, puts the kettle on and makes two buttered crumpets. And Monty Don, our national garden treasure, shares how one of the things that gives him the greatest pleasure is washing up because the kitchen sink has a window behind it which is where we feed the birds. He waxes lyrically about the visceral and intimate display the birds provide every day. Apricity is about the warmth of the sun on a cold chilly day, a moment of light. I wonder what our moments of light are the times we experience comfort and joy. I also wonder how we bring moments of light to others, making sure that even in the days when the sun isn't shining, we can create moments of apricity. Times when through us, people experience warmth and kindness, love and care. The writer Madeleine Longall wrote, we draw people to Christ by showing them a light so lovely that they want with all their hearts to know the source of it. At a time of year when we remember the light of the world being born in the darkness, how important that we know warmth in the cold, light in the dark and hope in the bleakest of times. How important that we experience the light and that we share the light. Let's pray. Loving God, may we know moments of apricity, the warmth of the winter sun. May we know moments of the warmth of your love in our hearts. And may we share the light of that love in our homes and in our communities. Go with us today. Amen. <laughs>